Hey everybody, it's Eduardo here with your draft stream Saturday update. And it's been a wild one. It's been a lot of movement. But here we are. Everything's turning up. Gamble, gamble, gamble! Gamble 24x7. In first. In second. In the low ball. Looking for a clean sweep of the weekend. The all-time Cinema Draft money winner. Rapidly rising up the ranks in Draft Stream as well. Putting my own call sheet to shame. Let's give you some background as I was scoring these. I go down one column at a time. And things were getting spicy. When I, right after I passed Hamilton, it put me up, put me in the lead. It actually put me in contention. Then Juan Origins put me over the top. And then the Babysitter's Club. Who knew? Coming off the top rope. Look at these scores. I had no idea. It's tremendous value for the salary. We'll get into that in a second. Let's start with G24's call sheet. He's got a pretty traditional 7-2-1 headliner, co-star, day player, construction. It's actually pretty good. Starting with a healthy, what is that, a five-pack of the Babysitter's Club. I mean, look, look, at, look, at, look at this value right here. For a day player, 9,800. Getting 117 points. It's what is that? Almost 12x per thousand dollars spent. Tremendous value there. And then, and then, of course, with your headliners, it's just off the hook. I mean, you're getting 163.8 for 11,400. 14 over 14 points per thousand. I mean. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna win you some some draft stream contests here. Out even and outcry, you know, pretty much looked like well, I mean, he tr looked like looked like he was trying for, with outcry, and outcry still will come into play come Sunday when it debuts. Most likely, it will only get a IMDb user score, maybe a Google user score. The critics don't seem to be interested in this, otherwise, the review will be out by by now. So. A great start, or actually great middle. I guess this is this is the uh, the second update, and then he's competing with himself. Only nine points off of his pace, and this one sees a triple of the Babysitters Club, an optimal stack of the Outpost, and then. And then you've got a three pack of Warrior Nun right here. I mean, and honestly, this one could easily overtake his other one if Warrior Nun continues to outperform. I mean, look at this 101.75. Actually, this entire week, for the second straight week, we are running hot. We are running above season averages. You love to see it. People are out there enjoying stuff, even on a 4th of July weekend. And Hamilton, I mean, it was the major domo we thought it would be. 122.85, which right now would put it at the second highest score of all time in the draft stream game. Still has potential to become the overall score. What does it need? I think if it gets up to a 98 and a 9.5, yeah, that would do it. I believe 124.15. Actually, let's just be sure. We have the master score list at our disposal here. Sort by total score. We can do it. Yeah, 124.5, the last dance. So it's got its work cut out for it, but it's Hamilton, man. I don't I don't understand why it's not higher. I mean Hamilton. I watched it for the first time. Ever. I was not one of those lucky ones to win the lottery and it's touring or whatever. I did not go to New York to see it on Broadway to see it with the original Broadway cast. 
I'm still floating right now, everybody. That was, that was an amazing, amazing experience. I enjoyed the hell out of it. As you can see, I gave it a 10. I've been going to theater or acting in theater since the fifth grade. I've This is the best play I've ever seen. Just, I mean, the songs stay with you. It, lively, energetic. I can't wait to watch it again, honestly. I went and got the soundtrack, all 46 songs. This is one of those musicals where there's rarely just a spoken line. Everything is like through a song. And, and it works, totally works. It's, uh, it, it's incredible. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly encourage you to see it. It's on Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Ah, just a great time. Uh, anyways, so Hamilton has a shot at becoming the highest scoring draft stream title ever. John Lewis, good trouble. Not performing as I thought it would, which probably played into my call sheets. We'll get to those in a second. Let's see what the God of Cheese, the GOC, has to do to make up some ground. Ah, and this is what's holding him back. The anchor around his middle. It's Desperados. Now, if you notice, the top three call sheets have all faded Hamilton. Bold strategy, but apparently right. Honestly, I did not see this much value coming out of the Babysitter's Club. Otherwise, I would have faded Hamilton too. But yeah, the Babysitter's Club. Uh, optimal stack right here. Two headliners, a co-star and a day player. This headliner stack of Desperados will probably do it no favors. It's getting savage right now, critically. Audiences are seem to be lukewarm on it. Headliner stack from the Outpost. And you want to talk about performing. Man, the Outpost is showing and proving right here. 101.45 base, so 142 for your headliner. Looks like somewhere in the realm of 11 points per per thousand. It's tremendous value. Warrior Nun also. Really, I mean, just a really overperforming weekend so far. My poor, poor call sheet, which pretty much has no shot to win now. Largely because I'm way down by Hamilton. I mean, it, it got me the guaranteed points I needed, 171.99. I mean, that that's that's great for a headliner. But it's not value-laden. I mean, 171.99 divided by 27.1. And you're only getting just under 6.5 points per thousand. So, I mean, these are these were guaranteed points, no doubt, but... If I'd taken a little more risk and just faded Hamilton altogether, I probably would have been all right. And by the way, Leslie Odom Jr., probably the MVP of that show, man. Just, I mean, his Aaron Burr is just... The whole thing's spectacular, y'all. Go see it if you haven't seen it yet. Anyways, the rest of my construction is pretty sound. Three stack of Juon Origins. Sampled the Outpost headliner. And then I... Slightly over-indexed on Warrior None. Didn't didn't hurt me at all. I mean, look at this value. 9,000 to get 142 points. I mean, it's not bad. It's like almost 16 points per thousand. <laughs> I mean, you can't... Yeah, you can't beat that with a bat. So anyways, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, there's no path for victory for me here. I just don't see it. So, so it's up to you... GOC, it's up to you to stop G24 from doing a clean sweep. And speaking, of, and actually, let's take a look at the perfect call sheet real quick. And the perfect call sheet has a five stack of Babysitter's Club, headliner stack of Juwan Origins, and then three headliners from The Outpost and Warrior Nun. A 7 2 1 headliner co star day player construction at your service. But yes, let's take a look at this low ball. Will this be the week? G24 ends ring balls low ball dominance. He's had three straight weeks winning the low. Might get shut out this week. And in it, a lone wolf barely over your default score. Black magic for white boys, day player, headliner, clear, oh, sorry. The headliner for Cutoff, and Cutoff in general, clearly the worst show out there. He probably could have even max stacked it out because he makes up the necessary 75,000 you need for 
your minimum budget of uh, seventy five thousand with Hamilton, and that seemed, and that turned out to be the move this week. And actually, and if you look at so my third one, my yeah, my third call sheet, close in contention. I'm probably not going to get there, but it seemed like that was the real move there. And obviously, the Babysitters Club messed me up. I mean, if you put almost anything else here, I'm probably in decent shape. I mean. Just if I, ugh, yeah, Babysitters Club. I mean, I was trying to make seventy-five thousand work. I knew I needed the three stack of cut of cut off. And honestly, probably should have just did all of cut off. I mean, it was it was not destined for success this week. Desperados was trashed, like I thought. I watched that trailer. Save yourself the two minutes of your life. Just it's it's bad. Erwin Elliott. Eh. I just figured. It seemed kind of small, wouldn't be covered much, and Hamilton got me the necessary s salary I needed to make the minimum. But yeah, but but starts, but this was was the move this week because there were such clear cut losers, and they're all super cheap that you were that you serve yourself well by loading up on just the worst things out there. I mean, look at the perfect lowball call sheet. Look at the lowball call sheet right here. Four stack of lone of lone wolf, three stack of cutoff, Desperados, Hamilton, Outcry, and, and Hamilton's on there because they know because the optimizer knows you need seventy five thousand minimum to make the salary. So, so that just keep that in mind as we move forward in this game. Different strategies to use, even for the low ball, that you can you can go as low as possible and still be in contention for the low ball call sheet of the week with one big splashy expensive title that actually performed as intended all right and let's take a look at ring balls what does he need to get back to his low well he, he did the hamilton he did the three stack cut off nice juon origins betrayed him it went high when he went low and that's fair. Foreign horror, not a lot of track record with with horror that's also foreign here. Metamorphosis. It's doing decent actually. Well actually, well, 8.8. .8, actually, it's probably not what you want, really. 82.7 by 8.8. Eh. Just under value right there. And then outcry. This seems to be fine for now. Shout out to the homie Steven Espinoza, my old lawyer. Okay. And another interesting call sheet. The Brown Baby, aka Draft Mom. Draft Mom, I, I like this five pack of Warrior Nun. I like your thought process. I, I even like going with AOC for good trouble here. It just underperformed. That's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Hamilton, standard play, although it kind of worked against us. And black magic for white boys. I mean, I didn't expect much out of this and it actually looks like it's achieving value. 101.76. Point one six divided by seven point two. Those co-stars, yeah. I mean, actually, that's that's great value. Fourteen points over. So, I mean, this is. I mean, well, outcry right here is an obvious punt, holding you back because it has no scores in it. I mean, you can get, like I said, we'll probably get an IMDb score, a IMDb user score, maybe a Google user score if we're lucky. And this, is a, and this is a punt that you probably had to accommodate over-indexing on Warrior Nun and getting exposure to Hamilton. Th this construction is fine, Mom. I, I think you did fine this time. It's just John Lewis betrayed you. We don't have enough data yet on Outcry. And Black Magic for White Boys just... I mean, it's just a tough week this week. So, I like your call sheet. Just a tough week. 
and we'll just have to see what you do on 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 Sunday. We're, you know, there's still a lot to be decided. Sunday update, no podcast, and Monday final score. I think we'll see some movement without Cry debuting on Sunday. Maybe people coming back from 4th of July revelries tonight. We'll settle in and watch some stuff. We'll rate some stuff. But right now, it's everything's coming up. Gamble, gamble, gamble. Will there be a late surge? Will there be the old Sunday tradition of movement? Will there be a dramatic come from behind anything with the debut of Outcry on Sunday for the final updates on Monday? Stay tuned, friends. I'll see you back here on the Cinema Draft Analyst anal Analysis Pod on Monday, sometime after 12 p.m. Pacific Time, with the final scores, analysis, and previewing next week's talent pool. Thanks for playing, everyone. Thanks for supporting this game. Thanks for hanging in there as we are in spreadsheet mode for at least another month. We're working hard. It's coming. It's looking real good, everybody. I'll see you guys on Monday. And for those of you who are so inclined, happy 4th of July. We'll see you on Monday.